Welcome to episode 3 of my setup of a traveller's notebook, mostly using the October kit from the Planner Society. In episode 3, we're going to look at a trifold folder. This is the trifold folder which I've made step by step, and if you stay watching this episode, you'll be able to follow along with it. So it has a pocket on the front for stickers. Sticky notes on this side, they are all the sticky notes that came in the kit. There's a place for some bookmarks on this side. I've just got some journal cards in this section here. This side I have this pocket with lots of stickers in it and there's some paper clips. This pocket came in a previous Planner Society kit. But if you don't have one of these, you can use an envelope or you can just use another piece of paper. So that folds there and then the back of the trifold folder is just decorated. If you'd like to see step by step how to make this, then stay tuned. I'm now going to make a trifold folder with this US letter piece of paper from the Planner Society. It's a double-sided piece of paper. It's eight and a half inches by 11 inches. This is a We Are Memory Keepers trim and scoreboard. I want the trifold folder to fold this way. So I'm going to put it this way. So this is the front of the folder, like so. So I'm going to score it along 5 and 1 8 of an inch. And 10 and a quarter inches. I'm then going to turn it this way, so this is the top of the trifold folder, and I'm going to score it at 7 inches. So this is because I'm in a B6 and everything is 7 inches high in the B6. So the way this works, you can fold this up and you can fold along the score lines here. So this is the front of the folder which opens like so and you can have this little pocket here or we can attach other pockets. You can have this pocket here and then we've got this little bit here. I have this from an older Planner Society kit which I haven't used. It's one of the lace pockets which come in some of the kits, not all of the kits, just some of them. And it's approximately seven inches high. If we look at it, it's a little bit a little bit shorter than seven inches, but hardly enough to worry about. Attach the pocket here, and it has storage in here for stickers. And then that will fold in like so and over like so. So that's how it works. So one of the things I also like to do is just cut a little notch out of where the elastics are going to be because sometimes the elastics tend to just rip into things. I just have a small round hole punch here and I'm just going to punch a little notch as you can see on the line there. And that's just for, so that's for the elastic to sit through nicely. I'm just going to use now some of this 1 8 of an inch score double sided tape just to tape everything together. So I do just tape either side of that. You can also cut these, you can cut bits off it and so on, but I'm just going for the easy way out really.
I'm just going to cut this little bit off here. I don't believe I need that little bit. And now I'm going to fold this bit up. Fold that up like so, and now it's attached. So we have the two pockets down here. And now I'm going to attach this pocket onto this side. You can just run glue along here run glue along here and glue it in. Um, I'm actually going to use some washi as I may reuse the pocket another time and I'm hoping if I use washi it will make it a little bit more removable. So to do that I'm just going to fold it like this and then run a strip of washi down here. I'll just use the washi that came in the kit. like so and then I'll run some washi along here to help hold it in. I'm just going to also use the washi that came in the kit mostly because I've got it in my hand. can embellish and add pockets and other things to it however you like really. Uh, I quite like to be able to add the stickers from the kit on the front here and I believe they'll fit in this pocket. fit there. It might be nice just to decorate that a little bit. We haven't used these yet. Might be quite nice actually to have this poking out. If we put one of these on either side it would poke out a little bit. That could be quite sweet. Or we could just have a, a tab poking out one of the bow tabs might do that. Okay, this is the little off-cut from the Happy Scrappy paper. I'm just going to cut up there and attach this to here. It could be the tab there, a pumpkin, or just looking at these hexagons which I've cut out and not used. Hexagons more or less the tag and then the die cuts just decorative on top of it. So I've got two options there.
Okay, I'm going to use this every day, given this will contain things I'll use every day. So I'm just going to pop this in my sticker maker. So there we have the front of the folder. Huh, that took a little bit of time. <laughs> so now we need to do the inside. You can see it does add a little bit of bulk, but I mean that's fine, that will fit in my planner just fine. might just put something inspirational across here but I won't bother doing that just yet. I have noticed my Happy Scrappy stickers coordinate quite nicely with what I'm doing this month. I've just received these so I think I would quite like to put them in the pocket. So we could actually put our kitty cat in there except then he would be facing backwards quite cute and that's a better size for me than having the whole clip poking out the whole clips just a bit much it's not very attractive looking at him from this side I'll just think of a way to disguise the back of that I want to disguise it without actually permanently changing it But just when we look from this side, we'll see the coffee cup. And when we look from this side, we'll see the little kitty's face, which is quite cute. So now we need to do something with this side and with the back. Sometimes it's very hard deciding what to do. need to work out what to do here. I might actually add, add a strip here just to be able to poke some of these things into. That might work.
So I'll just quickly show you the completed folder. So we've got the front here with the pocket for stickers and the tab. We open it, we've got all of our sticky notes. Here we've got some bookmarks. We've got cards here. And inside this pocket we've got more stickers and we've also got a couple of paper clips. And that's the trifold pocket. And then that just slips into the traveller's notebook just like any other insert through here with the elastic.